Princess Anne is currently in Tokyo, Japan, where deadly typhoon Hagibis is expected to hit very shortly. Princess Anne, the only daughter of the Queen and Prince Philip, is in Japan on an official visit. The Princess Royal is currently in the nation's capital of Tokyo, where a deadly typhoon hit on Saturday. Typhoon Hagibis made landfall on Japan's main island of Honshu right before 7 p.m. local time, 10 a.m. GMT, in Izu Peninsula, southwest of Tokyo. The storm is now moving up the eastern coast, with powerful wind speeds of 140 miles per hour. One man was killed, more than 60 people were injured and more than 7 million people were advised to evacuate as a powerful typhoon bore down on the Japanese capital on Saturday. The massive storm smashed into the region with what could be the heaviest rain and winds in 60 years. Officials warned that the storm could be the most powerful to hit Japan since one of the worst typhoons on record devastated Tokyo and surrounding areas in 1958 killing more than 1,200 people. But despite the powerful cyclone, Princess Anne carried on working on Saturday. As 600,000 were being evacuated in preparation of Hagibis, a 5.7 magnitude earthquake was also felt in Tokyo. Despite the conditions, the Queen's daughter had a busy day in Tokyo where she conducted a number of engagements. Among her engagements, she attended a UK food and drink exhibition at the British Embassy. The princess also attended a product launch at Globetrotter in her capacity as president of the UK Fashion and Textile Association. She also attended the Riding for the Disabled Association Japan Annual Championship. As the patron of the Scottish Rugby Union, she was due to attend a luncheon reception Yokohama Country and Athletic Club. However, Scotland's clash against Japan, which is due to kick off on Sunday, is hanging in the balance. Scotland will be eliminated from the World Cup if the match against is cancelled on safety grounds. A switch of dates has already been ruled out for the important match. Japan leads Scotland by four points after three victories and the cancellation would result in the match being declared a draw, knocking Scotland out of the competition. A World Rugby spokesman said, our primary consideration is the safety of everyone. We will undertake detailed venue inspections as soon as practically possible with an announcement following as soon as decisions are made in the morning. Our message to fans continues be stay indoors today, stay safe and monitor official Rugby World Cup social and digital channels. The Princess Royal has been patron of the Scottish Rugby Union for over 30 years. The Princess Royal is maintaining a full diary during her visit to Japan, despite the country facing its worst storm in over 60 years. Typhoon Hagibis is forecast to arrive in Tokyo this evening, brining with it 150 km per hour winds. As 600,000 were being evacuated in preparation of Hagibis, a 5.7 magnitude earthquake was also felt in Tokyo. Despite the conditions, Princess Anne has had a busy day in Tokyo where she conducted a number of engagements. Her Royal Highness attended a UK food and drink exhibition at the British Embassy. She also attended a product launch at Globetrotter in her capacity as President of the UK Fashion and Textile Association. It is thought that the Queen's daughter is now safely bolted away ahead of the typhoon which is expected to strike Tokyo very shortly. Princess Anne's visit to Japan has been slightly disrupted by the weather, however. On Saturday, Scotland's Rugby World Cup match was cancelled due to the typhoon. Their match tomorrow is also feared to be cancelled, with what means Scotland are automatically eliminated from the tournament. The Princess Royal has been patron of the Scottish Rugby Union SRU, for over 30 years. The Scottish Football Union, as it was known then, was founded in 1873, ahead of the formation of the International Rugby Football Board in 1886. The very first rugby international match was played at Rayburn Place in Edinburgh, on a cricket field. This tradition persisted, and all international matches in Scotland were played on cricket fields, until 1897, when the Scottish Football Union bought land at Inverleith. Inverleith was the home of Scottish rugby until the Murrayfield Stadium was built in 1925. Shortly before the completion of the stadium, the SFU changed its name to the Scottish Rugby Union. 
Princess Anne has been a regular visitor to Murrayfield since the 1980s and watches Team Scotland play multiple times a year. The Princess Royal is a long-standing and committed supporter of Scottish rugby, said a spokesperson for the SRU. We were greatly honoured when she performed the official opening of the East Stand at Murrayfield in 1983 and were absolutely delighted when she became our patron in the 1986-7 season. She has been a most welcome visitor to Murrayfield in her capacity as our patron in every season since.